down to Maniac Mark Lewin's efforts at Higa. Uh oh Mark Lewin is interested more in the cage and Gary Hart and these have to be these have to be tender moments up there for Gary Hart and for Gino Hernandez and how he caught that one coming in. This crowd, a huge crowd on hand here at the Coliseum to see what maniac Mark Lewin can do with Gary Hart out of the way and up into the ring lights. Lewin is the master of the situation right now as he cuts Gino Hernandez down to size. Lewin, there's the wreck of the Hesperus up there with Gary Hart now shouting down to Gino and trying to get him to understand signals which uh, are not particularly being observed by by Gino. Gino's got enough to worry about. The man in front of him is giving him signals that are absolutely unmistakable.
So Gino Hernandez has been batted around in the early moments of this match, but he has been batted around before, and he is a difficult man with whom to reckon, I'll tell you. He is deceptive, he is tough. Just an ingrained toughness that is mighty, mighty hard to crush. And Gino now is trying to cut Mark Lewin, pounding down with those blows on, on his head, the blows that come down toward the eye to catch him in the eye. And in a, an altercation last week, this uh, Gino had Mark Lewin's head blasted wide open, and he has found the same cut. And he is now trying to bust it loose. So Mark Lewin catches from Gino Hernandez when a few moments ago he was in complete command of this battle. Now listen to that crowd barking away at um, the former maniac. And maniac here hears that profusion of noise, but look at the way that Gino is laying those wallops into the bleeding head of maniac Mark Lewin. And whoa, he uncorks and he lets loose. So Lewin, who did a considerable wrestling in the Far East, whose chops are massive uh, punishing blows, and he is on top now. Two. Three, and we've got a fall as Maniac Mark Lewin scores first. Maniac Mark Lewin scores first over gorgeous Gino Hernandez. And Lewin, who could easily have lost this fall, comes up as the winner. We've got two more falls to go, and we'll be back here in just a moment, but look at Gary Hart and the way that he's opening his vest and sweating up in, up in the ring lights. Well, we'll be back here in a moment. Well, we're back and Gary Hart is now having his equanimity tested by, by Mark Lewin. You see Lewin here as he shakes away at that. <laughs> And we've got the ring lights swinging. And Gary Hart might well worry because if that ball breaks, it is going to shower him with hot, hot glass. And if you've never been under a shattered ring light, you just can't imagine what a treat would be in store for him. I've seen it happen a number of times and stood under them, and it sure does leave strange burn spots on you. So Gino Hernandez has not yet to risen to his feet in the intermission period of this uh, event. And Lewin is not only waiting for him, he is ready for him. 15 seconds have gone by, uh, to go rather, as Gino tries to find the key to get up and battle this guy, Mark Lewin, who is riled up to a fit of temper and has been for weeks. But now we find the ploy of gorgeous Gino, offering to shake hands, offering to have a peace treaty. He's offering to do anything except to face what Mark Lewin has for him. And the jackknife here is leaving Hernandez vulnerable. Oh, he laid that beauty in there right between the eyes. And Mark now is playing it smart. He is trying to capitalize on what happened in that first fall. And Gino Hernandez caught it in that first fall. So let the Effort now by, by Lewin. Oh, he drove him in there solidly. He doesn't have to ask that crowd whether he should give him one more of those wallops. They wouldn't care if it bent the ring post. 
and it could. Gino has been smashed into the into the post. He is off on the cold concrete just here over to over to our left, and he is flat on his face. Bronco Lubitsch sounding off with the count. Gino gets a 20 count, but it's been interrupted by the interference of Maniac Mark Lewin. Gino has been walloped into two ring posts, and right now he is showing the effects of it as he is smashed over here into the turnbuckle right above us. And Maniac Mark Lewin is trying his best to smash Gino down to the ring apron. And I'll tell you, discretion is the better part of valor. We got out of, out of the way. And Gino again on the floor. Gino having his problems. Gino trying to wipe the blood out of his eyes and not having very much luck. He is on his knees right here alongside of us. And there's a bad prospect as he starts up in, in the ring that, that maniac Mark Lewin is waiting for him with that chair and he just decided to give it to him on the outside of the ring. Gino Hernandez is slow. There you see him in your picture now. Slowly getting up and slowly for a good reason. The driving chops of Mark Lewin. And he's got Gino hung up and the referee looks to see whether he should stop this match or not. Gino's head is bleeding and bleeding badly. Here is Mark Lewin, and Lewin caught one right squarely in the chest and chin, and Gino is trying to capitalize on it right now. He goes for that driving backdrop. He's on top, we could have a fall. The only two, it takes more than two, it takes that three count. And the crowd now senses that maniac Mark Lewin has not lost his fall, that he's got something left. And both of them bleeding badly, both of them willing and ready to dish out punishment, and they've got to take it. And Lewin came across there with a wallop that equaled Geno's, and he came in there with a series of chops, and the, oh, both feet. And Hart is suffering the tortures up on the above. Both going at each other at a time, and they met. There is Hart, you see him now imploring Gino to, 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 to capitalize on it. There is Gino now going for the turnbuckle. And oh! Man, wouldn't that jar you? Oh, oh. He slammed him, and Gino Hernandez in full trouble on the outside of the ring as Lewin lays the boots to him. Five minutes, Five minutes have gone by, and this the second fall of this battle. And Mark Lewin keeps chopping away at Gino Hernandez in the hope that the solid array of driving, oh, this could be bad for Mark Lewin. And on the outside, Gino Hernandez, oh, oh, oh. This is a match to the finish. It is two out of three falls with no time limit, and with the amount of steam that has come between both of these guys, this is the kind of a battle this crowd expected. Even the second fall, five minutes, 41 seconds, gorgeous Gino Hernandez. So Gino Hernandez has won the equalizing fall, and this means we will have a third and deciding fall. In a moment, We'll be back here after we have this word from the studio.
The bell for round, round number three, well, just it, it could be a more apt description. Fall number three, falls are even. Gino took the second, Mark Lewin took the first, and now Gino is trying desperately to keep Mark Lewin from going on the offensive. Lewin, as you can see, hanging over that bottom rope, and Gino wants to make sure that he stays there. Well, he may have gotten maniac Mark Lewin with a chair, but he may also have roused Lewin to one of those fits of rage for which he is justly famous. And then again, he may not, and we've got no fall that time, just a two count. Lewin catching it from Gino. And outside goes Maniac Lewin, and Gino keeps pounding him because that's the way to make this work, but it works in reverse as Gino now slams it in there. The, the ring post is just as solid as it was before, although Gino might have cracked in into it hard enough to crack the ring post. And this could be it. There's one, and there's two. But no fall yet. The, you saw the driving blow in the in the back of the neck with that knee. And Gino now is victim of another wallop that could lay out the ordinary man. I'll tell you, Maniac Mark Lewin is the kind of a guy who capitalizes on his ability to throw those solid hands of his into his opponent. Swing, and he hit the mark. But Gino came around that time and caught him under the chin and in the throat with the driving tips of the fingers. Into the chair that time, that's where he was aiming. And you're watching Gino at work as he tries now to add to Mark Lewin's punishment. Again, I point out that the bad feeling between these two men has broken loose over the past month and fans who are here in the Coliseum tonight have expected this kind of match. This is the kind of match they wanted to see and they are getting every bit of the vaunted roughs. Oh! The hot exchange and... Oh! Lewin just gave... Gino Hernandez, the kind of punishment that he was dealt at, and the winner of this match, the winner of this match is Maniac Mark Lewin. Maniac Mark Lewin, but he said that he was going to get Gary Hart, and he is after Gary Hart. Bring the weasel down! Bring the weasel down! 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 And they're calling for Gary Hart to be brought down, and Gary Hart is about to be lowered and the man waiting for him is maniac mark lewin there is not much of a uh, of solace in that mark lewin and they've got the cage down and they've got maniac mark lewin ready now to get after the scalp of Gary Hart, and Hart is catching it. He may be inside the fence, but inside the cage, but this is not the, 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 the best place in the world to be. And Maniac Mark Lewin said he was going to take him into the, into the ring. And here he is with the sleep hold, to put the sleep hold on him. And Gino has co come up. And Gino has come to Hart's rescue before, and Hart has been saved by the, not by the bell, but he is the tying Hart's necktie around the, around the cage. They have put the bolt loose in there, and they are trying to 
get out. We've got maniac Mark Lewin locked up in the, in the cage, and the the match has been won by maniac Mark Lewin, but he has not been able to get his his um, revenge on Gary Hart. Gary Hart and gorgeous Gino have come up with an answer to an answer to keep maniac Mark Lewin inside the fence. But there's the winner of the match. He won from Gino Hernandez. He failed to get his revenge on Gary Hart. Mark Lewin is the winner. A wild battle, that's for sure. We'll be back with you again right after we have this word from the studio.